Elden Ring, a vast open world, deadly monsters and unforgiving bosses, dungeon crawling and pure hacking and slashing true RPG combat, made by the guys who brought you Dark Souls. But you can't afford a game like this, and your PC is a toaster. This, this is Minecraft. But by the time we're done, it will look like this. This is how you turn Minecraft into Elden Ring, for a Dark Souls-like modded Minecraft RPG game. Let's turn that boring game into something spectacular. Minecraft vanilla looks boring. The first thing we need to do is completely overhaul these visuals. The first major thing is to add Optifine. Optifine will let us fine tune the video settings to improve performance and enhance general visual fidelity. The key reason for this is shaders. We'll be using the complementary shaders shader pack. This is because it looks great but it doesn't suck the power out of my gaming laptop. Next we'll be using a medieval fantasy resource pack. My choice for this is Beyond the Lands, a rustic looking old world style texture pack that will give some true believability to our new fantasy upgrade. All the stone and wood textures look grainy and dated which is perfect for our dark unforgiving world. We'll also utilise the enhanced visuals mod. What is this you wonder? This will add HUD effects to the screen for a more immersive experience. Things like blood splatters, vision blurring and more. This will make combat look more epic and add a sense of realism which we're looking for. Dynamic surroundings is also a must have mod here. This is both a visual and audible upgrade that alters certain mechanics. We're talking changes to the sound levels and additional particles when it's raining, overhauled storm intensities with dust storms in deserts, aurora borealises in the sky at night time, fire jets and bubble jets over hot liquids, block specific sound feedback like the cracking of ice and dampening and echoes underground. This generally makes our mod pack feel like a AAA game because it's best not to ignore sound design. Dynamic trees will also make the trees in the world look far more detailed and realistic, with multi-part segments and branches for a deeper shape and appearance to them. With improved behaviour, we'll pair this with the falling leaves mod to add some additional particles to make the seasons more enticing and less bare bones so trees appear to be shedding their leaves naturally like they do in reality. The RPG HUD mod is important in simulating the RPG title experience through the use of many on-screen HUD based elements, such as a different and more improved UI theme with different health and XP bars, an improved HUD bar for the status effects and buffs, visual overlays for the health of targeted mobs and much more. We'll also use the camera overhaul mod. This will make the camera system feel much more fluid during movement via the introduction of various camera rotations which will emphasise the player's movement and improve visual feedback when strafing, moving forwards and backwards or jumping or falling which will all pan the camera and affect its pitch and tilt. Oh the biomes you go will be the choice of world gen mods here in terms of adding some more biomes. This is a simple mod that expands our biome index by adding 80 plus brand new biomes of alternative styles and themes to make the world far less boring. Now to make our world more exciting to explore and pillage we'll need to add some structures. After all Elden Ring and the Dark Souls franchise are RPG games which are based entirely on dungeon crawling and exploring so we'll add some dungeons. We'll be adding mods here like dungeon crawl, Wesley's roguelike dungeons and castle dungeons. These mods will mostly add underground dungeons, labyrinth like chasms that wind under the earth with different rooms full of monsters and mobs and a ton of loot to plunder. Some of the mods add in castles and keeps on the surface that are guarded by knights and villagers. This will really flesh out our world. Now that our world looks visually beautiful, let's darken things up a little. We'll be focusing on improving the combat system because this is the most crucial part of a Souls-like title. Minecraft Vanilla's combat system is boring, let's be honest. To combat this, we'll install the Epic Fight mod. This transforms the vanilla combat system into a fast-paced style with RPG combat elements. But the great thing is that it doesn't just change our player's mechanics, but also all of the vanilla mobs which we'll be facing, making them far more interesting to duel. There's basic attacks, special attacks, dashes, forwards and backwards rolls, and special abilities for many weapons, including things like stuns and weapon combos which we can use in combat situations, which is super perfect. Now to employ this new system, we'll need some new armour and weapons to actually make this combat interesting. For this, we'll use the Epic Knights, Shields, Armour and Weapons mod. This will give us many brand new types of weaponry to use. Everything from daggers to swords, pole arms and pikes, maces and axes, each having their own application and purpose, making fighting very different depending on which weapon you choose to use from the arsenal. There's also some nice shields in here to complement the weapons to block attacks, as well as some new armour sets for increased protection in boss fights. Also, mainly due to some of the armour sets looking very fitting and 
looking like something from a Dark Souls title or from Elden Ring specifically. And to finally glaze over these combat mods, we'll also use Sewing Through Grass. This is a core mod that we'll add here just to make things less frustrating. It does exactly as it says, it makes it so you can hit mobs through grass. This should already be in the base game, so moving on. No hack and slash dungeon crawler would be complete without a fitting level of threat and danger. So we'll add some bosses, creatures and mobs to make our new game slightly more unforgiving. The first choice here is Mousy's mobs. This is a perfect pick as it works seamlessly with the epic fight mod. This is because of the boss's casted spells and abilities function as dodgeable melee attacks or projectiles that we can dodge or roll out and away from, making the new combat system actually have an application. There's many different bosses here that are each wonderful and interesting in their own way too, and each of the fights are unique and different from one another. I also went with a classic mutant beast mod for some terrifyingly experimental monstrosities. These are a little less medieval feeling, but they make for some truly difficult boss engagements if you choose to take them on. Ice and Fire is also another mod we'll be adding. This is just because dragons are awesome and they make for some really challenging duels, although they don't really fit as well with our combat mod as most of their attacks are not so avoidable or dodgeable, but they make for some great additions to our new world and for some enticing opponents. The Champions mod will also make some vanilla mobs have the chance to be upgraded with different stats and custom abilities, as well as have RPG style names which distinguish them from the other more basic mobs, making some of the more simple enemies into real foes which are actually worth facing. Of course I'll add some extra mods and utilities to flesh out this experience which I didn't cover here just to make the mod pack a little bit more enjoyable and stable. It's time to showcase some gameplay of our final result, but first make sure to check the description down below to actually download this mod pack if you want to try it for yourself. I recommend playing it on custom maps just like I did in this demonstration. Make sure to like the video and subscribe and also drop a comment below any games that you want me to transform Minecraft into next time. Hmm. <laughs> 